Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be finding an expression for the maximum EMF generated by a simple AC generator. In our formula and data sheets, SCASA provides us with this expression that you see here on the screen. Personally, I prefer to think of it this way. The maximum EMF of a simple AC generator is equal to 2 pi BAMF, where B is the magnetic field that the coil is rotating through, A is the cross-sectional area of the coil, N is the number of turns in the coil, and F is the frequency of rotation for the coil. When we look at the voltage generated by a simple AC generator, we see that the voltage cycles between Vmax and negative Vmax. This is possible because the simple AC generator is attached to a split ring commutator. When we think of the coil as having two leads, those leads will each only ever touch one of the slip rings. That one slip ring will therefore cycle between positive Vmax and negative Vmax. It's important to notice here that the minimum voltage is along the zero line in our graph. Let's begin by imagining a rotating coil labelled ABCD. In this image, I want you to imagine that AB is moving into the page and CD is moving out of the page. Our coil is a rectangle. It has CD side length equal to L and it has BC side length equal to 2R, where R is the distance from the axis of rotation to the side of the coil. If we now imagine that our coil is rotating within a uniform magnetic field B, we can see that the sides AB and CD are both cutting field lines, cutting lines of flux. AB is moving into the page perpendicular across those field lines. CD is moving out of the page perpendicular across those field lines. As the coil rotates in this particular configuration, at this point in its rotation, we'll have the maximum EMF being generated because AB is moving perpendicular to the field lines and CD is moving perpendicular to the field lines. In both line segments AB and CD, the EMF being generated is VBL, where V is the instantaneous velocity of that line segment at that time. In the case of AB, that's into the page, and in the case of CD, that's out of the page. B is the magnetic field strength, and L is the length of the piece of wire that is moving, either AB or CD. AB is moving into the page, and so positive charge is being pushed towards the A side of that line. How do we know? We take our right hand palm rule, we take our fingers, we point them in the direction of the field lines, we take our thumb, we point it in the direction that line segment AB is moving, which is into the page, and our palm pushes down on the positive charge towards the A side of that coil. Side CD is moving out of the page. Again, we can use our right hand palm rule. We point our fingers in the direction of the field lines. Our thumb points in the direction that CD is moving, which is out of the page. And our palm pushes up towards the C side of CD, pushing positive charge up and ultimately towards the A side of the coil. As a result, we end up having positive charge pushed towards the A side of the coil. This results in negative charge being pushed towards the D side of the coil. And so a voltage is set up across the coil. In this particular configuration, with the spin going the way that it is, the A side is positive and the D side is negative. The EMF generated across AB and the EMF generated across CD cooperate with each other, work together to generate the EMF of the coil, which is equal to 2VBL. The V part of that 2VBL is the speed that segment AB is travelling. It's the speed that segment CD is travelling. Both AB and CD are moving in a circle. The speed that they are moving through that circle is equal to the circumference of the circle that they're moving through divided by the period of a single rotation. The circumference of the circle that these sides are moving through is equal to 2 pi r. 
the period of rotation is equal to capital T. We can take this now and insert it into our 2VBL equation. And we have EMF max is equal to 2 multiplied by circumference over period multiplied by B multiplied by L. Now looking at the coil as we have it in this diagram, we can see that it is a rectangle. And we can find the area of this rectangle. Looking at the equation on the screen right now, you see the orange parts of that equation, 2 R capital L. If you multiply these out, these will give you the area of the rectangle. 2R is equal to the length of side BC. L is equal to the length of side CD, or side AB. Multiply these together and we have the area of the coil. Furthermore, the period of the coil is the inverse of the frequency of the rotation of the coil. We can use this as well. We take the orange and the blue, we place them into our equation above, and we end up with the maximum EMF of this coil in this current rotation, in this current point in its rotation being 2 pi BAF. It is most likely the coil will not have a single turn, however, so we should allow for the fact that the coil has multiple turns. We say that it has n number of turns. With n number of turns, we insert that number of turns. We multiply out the previously stated EMF max by the number of turns in the coil. Rearrange the equation, and we get EMF max is equal to 2 pi bamf, where B is the magnetic field strength, A is the cross-sectional area of the coil, N is the number of turns, and F is the frequency of rotation for the coil. 2 pi bamf is a very convenient equation for finding the maximum EMF generated by a simple AC generator. The A part of 2 pi bamf provides a little bit of an advantage to us because even if our rotating coil is not a nice convenient rectangle like we've had in this example, provided we know the cross-sectional area of the coil, we can still use this equation to find the maximum EMF. It should be stated though, this equation gives us the maximum EMF. It does not give us the average EMF and it does not give us the root mean square EMF. I hope this was useful.